Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to go ahead and give my review over BET Presents the Encore. Now, this episode was just okay to me. Um, I guess it wasn't anything different than the other episodes, just a whole bunch of arguing, fu arguing fussing, and fighting. Um, the episode starts off, Pam is in the kitchen. When I tell y'all, I know Pam had to wash her hands for at least 23 minutes straight, because I'm sitting here thinking, is Pam washing dishes or is Pam washing her hands? And I kept rewinding it like, girl, Pam is washing her hands. So I started also thinking about what was the the length of time that Misha and her were in there having that conversation, right? So I'm like, girl, Pam, when I tell you Pam, not gonna, Pam was not playing with the 19, but Pam was not playing with the 19. At least we can't say Pam is dirty because we know Pam is clean. You know what? Pam is the flyest one out of everybody in that house. I think that, how can I say this? Not to say that you can't. I could definitely see Pam being somewhat of a creative, a creative director. I could probably even see her being a stylist. If she, if she was probably on a different walk in life, because we know, like, for example, if she was to style Aubrey, Aubrey want her, Aubrey want her girls out, you know, Aubrey wants some tight and smile. Hello? Now, you know, because Pam is on a different walk in life, I don't know if Pam would, you know, you know, Pam would want you to walk around her looking like a church lady. But I will say in Pam's defense, it goes to show that you could really be covered up and be fly. Because Pam is fly. Pam is fly than everybody in that house. Girl, Pam is fly. Girl, I just want her, I just want her to come to the conclusion that girl you like eating on cat girl, but that's okay. That's okay. Everybody walk is different. Everybody when it comes to their personal journey with their sexuality, it's a different journey, a different walk, a different length of time for everybody. Right. Anyways, so Pam and Lamisha, you know, got into it the night before because I guess Lamisha felt as though Pam um, did not have her back and every time some things pop off, Pam leaves. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Like, if I'm not involved and let's just look at it from Pam's point of view. If Pam is not involved in the mess and Pam sees that you y'all cannot have a disagreement without having to yell, shout, and scream, then for Pam, it's probably best that she remove herself from that situation. Because the thing is, I don't know, but there's a possibility that Pam could probably really go there and get with the girls, right? So some people who are on a different walk in life, if they know like, girl, it's best for me to remove myself from this situation because if I stay then girl, they gonna see another side of me that they really didn't think was here. So I'm just gonna leave. And I don't think that you can fault Pam for removing herself from really some shit that don't have nothing to do with her. Um, Aubrey, I'm sorry, y'all. I know a lot of y'all were telling me that you gonna dislike Aubrey. Aubrey is this. While Aubrey does have her ways, like a lot of like a lot of other you know the other girls in the house. I don't think Aubrey is as bad as people try to make her seem. I think that Aubrey out of everybody in the house, I think that Aubrey had the best vision and I think that she was trying to make the best out of this situation. Like I'm going to go ahead and just say this right now. Those songs that they played were a hot ass mess to me. Nothing that they played moved me. The same way people think that Aubrey is in it for herself, those twins, those twins, now they're definitely in it for themselves. I don't know. I just, I just never really got the whole Aubrey hate train. Like, Aubrey was not that bad to me. Now, did she lie? Did she put 20 on 10 last week when it came to the whole interaction between her and the twins and Elijah? Yes, she put 20 on 10, right? So, yes, everything that Aubrey does is not like, oh, girl, she just this, you know, this saint. But she's not as bad as, as I, I don't think she's as bad as people try to make her out to be. 
I think again, out of everybody, when it comes to the when it came to like a group sound and songs that are are hot and that could actually you know have potential, I think that she was. I think she made the most sense out of everybody. Pam wanted to sing church songs. Misha don't want to sing too much of a sexy song because she got a daughter. The girls, the twins, they only want to sing the songs that they wrote. Right? Shamara, she just there. Nivea, she just there. Right? Keely walking around like a rich white woman, like somebody just need her and her presence needs to be there. Anyways, so... Um... The whole go don't leave. Now they're in the room. They're in the uh, studio trying to figure out what songs they're going to play for the listening party. I mean, it ain't like y'all got just a catalog of songs. Y'all got, what, three or four songs? <laughs> Girl. So one of the songs that Cosign, I just, I don't know what it took me so long to realize this. Cosign is cute. Now you could tell, I'm going to get into Cosign in a little bit. Um... So they're having problems with Go Don't Leave. I'm not gonna lie, when they played that song, it did it, it was off to me too. Um so it's the day of the it's the time it's time for the listening party. I thought that the I thought that Shamari was the only living member of Black. I know the other girl died, the rapper of the group, she passed away. I thought that Brandy passed away too. So when they hit, when she hit that corner and they said, Brent, and I was like, oh, I thought she had passed away this whole time. I thought that girl had transitioned. When I tell you, Brandy is probably one step away from being gorgeous. That girl is so pretty. Girl, for real, for real. Um, Mila, so pretty. Girl, Mila, now Mila, that, that Mila can sing down. Mila voice is gone. Mila say, I've been in the house for a year. Girl, I finally got out. And girl, acting like I ain't had no sense. Now I ain't got no voice. Um, I would love to see Mila. Remember Mila was on R&B Divas. I think like right, I think that was a, the right when she made that last season. That's when I, I don't think it came back anymore. I would love to see Mila on, you know, one of these type of shows. Um, Jazzy Faye. We got Ronnie. Um, we got Kima from, you know, Total. Um... And then we have some other people. Um, oh, so basically, Pam hasn't heard from the members of the total for about four to five years because I guess once she started this new journey, this new walk in life, she pretty much cut off everybody or as far as like the group members. Um, she even, you know, said that her family and friends really did not understand why she was giving up you know, total for this new, again, this new walk that she was on. Um, Kima told her, girl, you basically told us that you the Beyonce of the group. She was like, I said that? <laughs> girl, you said it. <laughs> you said it. Um, Kima said, you know, even though she, even though they could be getting this money, <laughs> we could be getting this money, bitch, but I understand that this is your new journey. Um, I, 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 I know it has to be hard to go through because that when you are you know a part of a girl group and a singer and all that stuff, you that's that everybody doesn't have everybody can't relate to what you went through. So to that to have to be in a to be in this group and you know you've known this person for years and years and years and years and years and years and, years and, years and then for them to just cut you off. I know that had to hurt. Um, anyway, you know, Pam is crying. Um, so the fellas basically, you know, want to put on for the cameras. They tell the girls they need to get hype. And it is true. It's eight, nine of y'all, right? We don't know who's singing what part. So, you know, it did make, a, it did make sense for them to step forward when the, it was time for them to sing their parts. Um, Aubrey was pretty much just standing there, just standing there again. I don't like the I didn't like those songs. Those I mean it almost sound like girl, I'm about to sound real heathen. I'm about to sound real just like girl dancing with the devil. Ain't nothing wrong with inspirational songs. 
I think that's probably why Aubrey couldn't relate to the music because of the songs, Bird's Eye View. Girl, even talking sound like, girl, that's it. Bird's Eye View. You got the church song, Skeletons. So is this an inspirational EP? Okay, count me out. Girl, I'm trying to sing Partition. Girl, I'm trying to sing Blow. Hello, I'm trying to sing Sorry. Hello, we on two different pages. Girl, what a girl's at? What a girl's at who want to talk about sucking dick on their knees? For it? Girl, girl, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> what a girl's at who want to talk about having their ass pressed against the window? That's what we trying to say, right? I'm saying if I was Aubrey, not for me. I'm saying if I was Aubrey, I get where Aubrey is coming from. I'm sorry. This music is whack. The sound is whack. Girl, what are we doing? This is not me. I I don't want to do this. Yeah. Um, so Irish is pissed off because she pretty much had three lines. We're going to go ahead and just say this. Irish, baby, you need to be happy that you had those three lines because Irish, you can't sing. Misha sounds a whole lot better than Irish. But girl, between the two of you, girl, y'all sound the absolute worst in the group. So it's a reason why you got two lines. Um... Aubrey pretty much left. Aubrey is gone. Um, so they have to go and basically somebody has to sing her parts. Um, I said, girl, they must get real comfortable because everybody walking. I saw Misha and I think Irish walking around with their weird caps on in the baseball head with a cigarette in her hand. Um, Cosine and the twin are beefing. I thought it was so crazy. Can I just want to give one little next season if y'all do another um you know, season or with a different group of girls, I don't know, or boys, I don't know. I think that you need to do a better job of editing because there are parts, like even with, I think it was a week before last, it was so many parts that I felt that were left out. Like even with today, with the episode, I was like, how did it go? Like it literally looked like it went from zero to 100. Right? Like, he walked in, Cosine walked in with his cute self and gave the twin a hug. And then next thing you know, girl, they were arguing. <laughs> I was like, girl, where did this come from? Now, Cosine, in my honest opinion, Cosine, when you start, when, when men start calling women love and, you know, sweetie. I don't think he said sweetie, but I know he said love and love this and relax. Girl, he low-key calling you a bitch. He not calling you a bitch, but that's his way of calling you a bitch. So when men start calling women sweetie, love, calm down. They basically saying, bitch, shut the fuck up. And Keely called it. Keely knew exactly what was going on. That's why she was like, uh-uh, we're not doing that relaxed stuff. Men, we, not we, not we, them. Men, they love to pull that relax, relax. And I don't know about anybody else. The last thing you want to do is tell somebody to relax. Because, girl, for me, bitch, that's going to make me even more hype. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was pretty much the episode. Yeah, that was pretty, it wasn't nothing major. That was pretty much the episode. All right, y'all. I'm going to probably watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills um, when I get off of work because, like I said, girl, they, I think I said this in my other video, they were doing construction right, right in front of my window, and you couldn't hear anything. So I had to wait until um, they finished to make these videos. So I don't have enough time to watch uh, Beverly Hills right now. Well, I watched it, some of it yesterday. I need to go back and take my notes. Um, so I'll probably watch that when I get off of work tomorrow uh, morning, and then I'll post that if I'm not sleepy. Greg's going to be up tomorrow, because I don't know why I've been sleepy as hell when I get off of work now. All right, bye, y'all.